Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds uh, program today that was suggested uh, by a regular YouTuber that is that I I know I've talked about it in pieces and other videos, but I've never done a standalone video about it. And this is such a topical time of year because, uh, man, the, the hummingbirds are going crazy, especially right through the heart of the country. Now, I know you guys up north are slowing down and you guys in the south are really getting ready to get really uh, inundated with them as they're migrating south. So um, it, he brought up the point about dangers to hummingbirds around your feeders and that some that people really don't think about. So your hummingbird feeders and your visitors right now, this is a beautiful, uh, very large hummingbird of the Southwest known as a blue-throated mountain gem uh, feeding on a feeder. And what are the dangers that you may not think about whenever you put hummingbird feeders up? So we're going to start with one that gets a lot of questions but really isn't a major threat and, and, and really hardly any threat at all. And those are the bees and maybe even wasps around that gather around your hummingbird feeder. I know I've got one feeder out right now that the, the bees can get to and they're all over it, but it's the camera feeder that I use. And I see the hummingbirds uh, come in and feed among the bees. Now the bees are not, can't get into the flowers very well. So really they're just around the body of the feeder, uh, the way that feeder is designed, but the hummingbirds. Uh, so I put out another feeder that's, that's pretty bee proof um, close by. And the hummingbirds, if the bees get to be too much of a problem, they just move over to the other hummingbird feeder. But the threat of, of bees and wasps to hummingbirds is minimal. Uh, it, it, it can happen, but it's very rare, according to you know Cornell and so the hummingbird sites, for a, a hummingbird to succumb to being uh, bee stings or whatever. So you may think that's a big threat, but it isn't. The real insect threat, of course, are praying mantis. Now, there are native praying mantis, which are three inches or smaller in this country. They pose no threat to hummingbirds. But a large introduced uh, Chinese mantid can catch and will catch and kill hummingbirds. Then if you see a hummingbird uh, around a feeder and that man a mantis is there, if you can, immediately go out and, and get rid of that. Chinese mantid. And that is either uh, running it off or killing it. Believe me, they are introduced into this country and they are a major threat to uh, native insect populations as well as even hummingbirds. So yes, mantids can be a very large threat. You may not see them that often, but you need definitely to get rid of them if you do have them uh, on your hummingbird feeder. Now, birds, birds have some birds, you know, are, have the ability to catch them. Roadrunners are a prime example that will snap a hummingbird that's feeding on flowers in your garden or on your hummingbird feeder. They can, they'll jump up and snatch them right out of the air. So again, uh, if you're one who feeds hummingbirds in your yard, especially in the, the Southwest and all across the, the Southern st tier states, if you see a, hum a, a, a roadrunner hanging around your garden with, where your hummingbird feeders are, you may want to go out and shoo him away, try to get him out of there because he can uh, catch your hummingbirds and, and snatch them right out and eat them. Now, other birds, too, there's others like the great crested flycatcher in our area um, have been known to catch hummingbirds. Now, it's it's not a, a real regular thing because a hummingbird is a pretty big meal for a great crested flycatcher, but they have been documented doing that. And loggerhead shrags have been documented catching hummingbirds. And there are some other birds, but they aren't, those aren't major threats. But if you have a chance to dissuade them. If you see one hanging around your yard, um, you know, and, and possibly swooping after your hummingbirds, you might want to just try to, to shoo them away and get them out of there. And reptiles. Now, this was my uh, brother-in-law's feeder years ago. This was a gray rat snake. Oh, you saw it right at sunset one night. This rat snake was coiled up on his hummingbird feeder and they can catch a hummingbird right out of the air. The hummingbird go up, come up to feed and the snake can catch them and eat them. And obviously if you see a snake on your hummingbird feeder or hanging around your hummingbird feeders, you don't want to kill them. They're, they're valuable uh, uh, parts of our uh, natural process. So don't, please don't kill the snakes, but do what you can to, to, to run them off. And they'll usually leave if you're, you come out with a broom or something, you know, to dissuade them and, and make sure that you shoo them off. So they, they get them off that feeder or from around that feeder on a limb that may be where your hummingbird feeder's hanging. You want to get rid of them if you can, because they can and will catch hummingbirds from time to time. But the number one, probably 
the natural threat that's out there and what prompted this whole program are spider webs. So I, I learned years ago, you know, I, I, I like to leave my spider webs up most of the year under the eaves of my house and around because they're catching insects and things like that. And that's really important. But when you have hummingbirds, uh, the spider webs are a real threat to them. This is a picture of my nephew in North Carolina sent me a few years ago. He, uh, he works at a warehouse for the uh, Golden Knights parachute team. And this uh, hummingbird got caught up in a spider web inside the warehouse and he found it. And it was, you know, the spider webs were around this bill, its wings, it couldn't fly, it couldn't open this bill. And like, luckily for this hummingbird, this male ruby throated, uh, my, my nephew found it, picked it up, and they've got a series of pictures of him cleaning the spider webs off of the wings and off the bill and a happy ending. He was able to let the hummingbird go and he flew away. But that just illustrates how dangerous spider webs are for hummingbirds. It doesn't take a lot of sticky spider webs to, to truly and uh, do away with a hummingbird there. They can't escape them. They Once that sticky stuff's on their wings and around their bill, they're done for unless like you can help them. So clean out your spider webs, especially during uh, heavy hummingbird times. It, 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 like all winter, you know, there's not going to be any spider webs anyways. But during the hummingbird season, they are a threat close to your hummingbird feeders. So, and then the number one threat to all the, hum the hummingbirds is a dirty hummingbird feeder. Now, this one isn't dirty. It's just a picture of a male ruby thread visiting my camera feeder. But keeping that nectar fresh, make sure it's four parts water to one part sugar, and you don't leave it in more than a couple of days, especially when the temperatures are hot. Ro rotate it. You know, every it doesn't hurt. To, it, it just make a picture of it or a small picture of it and keep it in the refrigerator and kind of clean that feeder out every, every other night pour some fresh in there and put it out. That's the number one safety protocol for protecting your hummingbirds. But the others like the, uh, uh, you know, uh, bees, not much of a threat. Praying mantis can be a pretty big threat. Uh, birds, depending upon where you live, what kind of birds you have, they can be a threat. Uh, snakes on your on your hummingbird feeders or around your hummingbird feeders, they pose a danger. Uh, but really, spider webs are a major problem for them. So make sure you keep them safe from that and clean and, and your nectar regularly. So it's a great idea for a program. Thanks, Rick, for asking about that. It, it really inspired the program tonight. So if you like the programs, please, please give us a like. Share them if you would to your friends. If you haven't uh, subscribed on YouTube yet, please do that. Until next time, let's talk birds.